Ampere's law facilitates the calculation of magnetic field by looking for an integration path that is symmetric with the current distribution. Consider this solenoid with current flowing in this direction. The direction is indicated by these arrows. A solenoid is a coil of wire that produces a magnetic field when current passes through it. To clearly see the magnetic field generated by a solenoid, let's look at the cross-section of this solenoid. If you forgot our notation for out-of-the-page notation and into-the-page vector notation, please watch my video about this notation and the second right-hand rule. The link is in the description box below. To use Ampere's law, we draw an imaginary integration path. For example, I choose this integration path so I can have an idea about the magnetic field inside the solenoid and outside the solenoid. So let's assume that the direction of our integration path starts here, point A, and then goes this way, B, then C, then D. So essentially, my integration path flows this way. Let's assume that my integration path has a length L, and it has a width of W. So it is a width of W. The integral of B dotted to DL in this closed path consists of the magnetic field along this path, which is, I'll put B sub AB times the length L plus this path. The magnetic field along that path is B sub BC times W plus this path the magnetic field along that path, let's assume it as B sub DC times the length of that path plus B sub DA, the magnetic field along that path, and the length of that path is W. Now let's focus first on this term. For path A to B, this path, the magnetic field is actually zero because of symmetry. Notice that this x sub x here, this current pointing into the page, if you use right hand rule, it will produce a magnetic field that goes this way. While this current vector here produces a magnetic field that goes this way. Now, it doesn't matter if its current components here are not enclosed by the loop because we are only considering one term. So, it produces an opposite magnetic field this way. So, they essentially cancel out each other, assuming that the radius of this solenoid is not very large. So, very near the solenoid, but outside the solenoid, the magnetic field is zero. So, this is zero because the magnetic field B sub AB is zero. So even if you multiply it with L, which is not zero, but B sub AB is zero, so this term is zero. Next, notice that along this path, both of this path that is multiplied to the width to W, the magnetic field, if you use right hand rule, the magnetic field is obviously perpendicular with respect to this path. Therefore, these terms are also zero. So we are only left with this term, B dotted to DL equals B sub DC times L. If we assume that the solenoid has N turns per unit length, so mathematically this means N equals number of turns per unit length, then I can rearrange this in terms of the number of terms, which is n times l. That means the capital N here is the number of turns. Since we are now dealing with the entire integral of b dotted to dl, if we have this length l and it encloses this current, therefore we have an enclosed current of i and if we have n turns inside this integration path, we have to multiply this with capital N. So if I try to replace this in terms of n turns per unit length, I'll end up with n l now, let me write down Ampere's law. We have B dotted to DL equals mu naught times the current enclosed. So, we have an expression for B dotted to DL, which is this one. And we also have expression for the enclosed current, which is this one. So, if I plug this here, I'll end up with B. Remember that B sub DC is the magnetic field inside the solenoid. So I'll just replace B sub DC with B inside, which means the magnetic field inside the solenoid times L 
equals mu not enclose and i enclose is actually nli notice that l cancels here so i'll end up with the magnetic field inside the solenoid i'm just writing down the magnitude because obviously when it comes to direction you just have to use the right hand rule And this expression is the magnetic field inside a solenoid with n equals number of turns per unit length. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching!